one of the hardest things for me to grasp as a new yoga teacher and as a new yoga practitioner was this, the concept of mindfulness. I was just like, what the hell does this mean? Right, someone who's a math brain that one plus one is always two, got that. Two plus two is always four, got that. But now you're telling me that mindfulness is some theory or some practice, I, I just couldn't grasp it. So I'd ask questions, they'd be like, well, it's about being more present, okay, what the hell does that mean? It's about you know, being more aware of the present moment, it's about being more mindful of the activities you're doing. Again, what the hell does that mean? So I'd sit in meditation and my brain is going, Here's all the horrible things you did in the past. Here's all the things that are stressing you out in the future. What am I gonna have for lunch today? Man, are the Seahawks gonna actually do well in their game today? Those were, and my brain was going everywhere. And I'm like, you know what? Mindfulness ain't for me. I, I'm terrible at this. This sucks. Meditation sucks. Being mindful in my daily life sucks because I can't do it. I'm terrible at it. Then I was reading a book called Cog Cognitive Behavioral Therapy Made Simple. And they made the definition of mindfulness extremely simple. And the way they said is the practice of mindfulness is that forever many times your brain wanders. You just gently nudge it back to the present moment. That was like a light bulb moment for me. It clicked. So it doesn't matter that my brain went off to thinking about the Seahawks in the game later today. I, it's bringing it back once I've noticed that to the present moment. So in meditation, that might be my breath. It might be a mantra. When I'm, when I'm sitting at my meal, it may be going back to what the taste of my oatmeal is like as I eat it or it's being with my children, or the sounds my dog makes when he walks, goes for walks, okay? So for me, it made mindfulness so much more achievable for me because it wasn't about clearing my brain. Because you know what, my brain doesn't clear, and most people's, if not all people's, brain don't clear. That's not how the brain works, okay? So mindfulness, let's keep it simple. It is forever many times you feel yourself start to wander. Can you bring it back to the present moment gently and non-judgmentally?